Politicians delete posts all the time, sometimes within seconds. But what if you could still see what they tried to erase? Today, I'll show you the archives that journalists and investigators rely on to recover deleted tweets and vanished statements and old posts from across the political spectrum. You'll learn where to find them, how to search them, and how to dig back through time to see what political figures were saying years before those posts disappeared. Hi everyone, and welcome back to this series on how to do open source investigations from home. I'm Ben, and this is part 28, so let's get started. Our first stop is the Trump archive, and this is a complete mirror of Donald Trump's Twitter history. Every post he ever made, searchable by keyword, date, or phrase. This is what journalists used during 2020 to track narrative shifts and contradictions, and it's reliable, fast, and permanent. The second tool can be found on the website Roll Call, and it's specifically called Factbase, and allows you to search a whole archive of content around Donald Trump, White House calendar, White House releases, and it allows you to not only look at current content, such as videos and press statements, and if we have a look at some of the much older content, we can see how some policies or keywords may have changed in their context over time, such as borders, for example, in statements around 2015, right up until recently. So what about deleted posts? Well, there's a website called Politwoops, and it's from ProPublica and allows you to explore tweets that have basically been deleted. Unfortunately, due to a Twitter API change, Politwoops currently does not track deletions, but it's still got a pretty good archive of content that's been deleted in the past. And this is such a useful one to have a look at content, especially that might have been deleted after people realize the sensitivity of that content as well. The other useful tool to check out deletions is also Trump's Truth. And this is a community-run archive capturing Truth social posts. It's smaller, it's less polished, but surprisingly comprehensive. And especially for 2023 to 2024, when many posts never reached mainstream platforms, but were still posted to Truth Social. We could have a look for the term, for example, witch hunt, which allows us to see some of the content that Trump was posting in the beginning of 2024 and late 2023 around using that term witch hunt, which was a favorite phrase for that person at that time. The next one is PolitiTweet, which is a super interesting one. It's a volunteer built tool tracking political accounts across Twitter, Mastodon and Truth Social. It's kind of like a second set of eyes because you can see that many of these archives do a similar bit of work, but it's very important, especially when there's a crackdown on archives like these. What's interesting about this is that we can search for individuals or phrases up the top here, and we can, we can see when those accounts pop up, how many things they might have deleted. So here's Ron DeSantis with 14 deletions. We can see how many have been archived. It's been last updated today, monitored since 2022. It's always important to never underestimate small archives, especially if they might capture the same content, it might be archived or tagged a, a, a different way. And this indicator of how quick something has been deleted is a really nice indicator to, to look further into some of these aspects. The takeaway from this is that you don't always have to rely on live feeds. You can use things like the Wayback Machine for web pages, but for social media, these five archives that we've gone through are your investigative backbone, especially for public figures when they make a statement and they might delete it. These archives exist because information shouldn't disappear when it's convenient. Whether you're a journalist, researcher, or a citizen investigator, these sites keep the receipts of democracy. If you've enjoyed this session and want us to see more open source investigative techniques and tools, please do subscribe, like, and share with a colleague or a friend, and leave a comment in the section below as to what you'd like to see covered in the next one. Until then, take it easy.